so so happy to welcome you to my morning chit chat video i'm kind of trying to add this section to my channel i was trying to come up with ideas of this like talk videos one-on-one -on -one where we can go maybe weekly and discuss different topics answer your questions just like talk about whatever comes up to our mind so for now i called it morning chit chat video i don't know if you would like to come up with some other name so let's begin the contest of the best name for this section leave the comment down below in the comment section will be gladly appreciate it and I will definitely pick the best one and maybe change it up, okay? So let's go, guys. So let's start. I'm gonna introduce the topic we're gonna discuss today. And today we will be discussing a specific topic that's been brought up to me by one of my followers on my Instagram on my recent Q&A. And I saw that this topic was so video worthy and that's why I'm filming this video today. So let me read the question first. The question is how to feel confident to post and build your brand. And I saw that it's such a great question because in our days social media is so important for building any brand for selling any products for selling any services like social media just became such a big part of any business that i think that it's really worth for me to share what helps me to kind of make this first step and go over the fear that was leading me and just share my thoughts and my feelings i have now also so let's go guys so first i want to say that it took me forever forever to post my first video i mean forever it's i don't know five years maybe like a thought of youtube been like really inside of my head for like five years so i took me forever i think i said forever a hundred times but anyway it took me forever so i think that the main fear of my first video was what will people think of me and it wasn't much about all the people it was more about people that know me like friends a friend of a friend just people i know like a people whose opinion somehow matters and i think that this was my main fear so my first step was i shared this idea with few of my really close friends and i received incredible support of the idea of starting my channel and i think they were really the ones who were kind of encouraging me and you know were really supportive and then i also told it to my husband and i actually was more probably open to my husband about my feelings and just saying to him like you know i wanted to start this channel but like you know i don't know how you feel about it like i'm so scared like of what people will think of me i know it sounds crazy but i did say that and that's how i feel and i think it's totally normal for people to be conscious about what other people will think like it's natural does it have to stop you from doing things no absolutely no and you have to work on it on like improving that's this part in you and uh, go over your fear but i do feel like this sort of feelings are pretty natural to any human so on you know on which my husband replied who cares <laughs> and i think this response definitely my friend supported me and my husband said who cares just try and see what happens i really kind of you know motivated me and supported me in starting this idea i think that you know as i said as much much as it's natural to care about what other people think and I feel like every person cares even the confident one but it's all about working on this and making yourself your decision your wishes your goals a priority you don't want to live your life and not be in charge of your destiny people around you cannot decide what you should do and what you shouldn't do so I think that fun fact I have Instagram for a really really long time since I've been the model so i feel like instagram is already something that was a little bit more natural to me and you know in instagram we used to share more pictures so it was a little easier with pictures but youtube is complete like different format it's more video it's more personal so fun fact i feel so much more free and so much more confident now to share things here than i share them on instagram because i do feel like i have a new community here that don't know me from before and just here i feel like i'm starting things from scratch from the clean page and i feel like content here on my youtube is so much more genuine and so much more transparent than the one i have on instagram i do try to work on it now and also push myself to share 
share more personal things on Instagram, but I do feel like YouTube is completely unfiltered and I just love it so much that I found in myself courage to go for it and build complete different platform and create complete different content. So let's go in a little bit more of a technical parts of what helps to gain this confidence with camera, with posting, with coming up with ideas that can work. So I think that I would definitely recommend first to look for pages or for channels that inspires you. And it's not about copying or, or creating the same content, you know, even so I believe all the content already been done and all you can do, it, it takes some existing content and remake it and tweak it in your own way. But I feel like having an idea and inspiration from people will help you to understand also which direction you want to go. Like you're not going to have a clear, clear idea wh which direction you're going to go for and you want to experiment and try different content unless you're creating the page for a specific reason. Like let's say if you have a closing brand and you want a page for a closing brand, that's another thing. But if you're starting as a content creator, you definitely want to look up uh, people in your niche to kind of get inspired and have an idea what type of content works in this field. That will be tip number one. Number two, I would uh, definitely write down few topics that you want to discuss at least in the beginning of your channel. Like let's say you write a list of five first videos, video ideas, so you already have an idea what you want to work on. And three, I think in order to gain this confidence in front of a camera, you do need to practice a lot and you do need to feel a lot. I uh, cringe after each time I watch my first video <laughs> and I knew I'm gonna cringe and I'm don't I'm never gonna delete it because I think it's always gonna remind me about this brave step that I took to start the channel but even you here guys uh, in the comments always tell me uh, how much better I get with each video that you see improvements how I communicate the message how the video is built how the script is made so I do think that improve in this field it's all about practice and you will never start with your first video being perfect so I would recommend let's say you take two weeks to really film yourself on your camera you don't have to post it but let's say you just practice filming yourself and you are just re-watching it and see what have to be improved but in the end let's say after two three weeks give yourself two three weeks after two three weeks you have to start it okay you don't have to wait longer but I do feel like practicing on camera helps a lot re-watch your videos helps a lot so that would be definitely my tip for improving and gaining the confidence. When it comes to posting, I would definitely recommend not to overthink too much, not to overwatch too much, because if you start to overview the same content over and over again, you will probably find more imperfection and will, your mind will start to trick you and you will not sure if you should post it or not. So usually I create content, I watch it briefly. If I feel like it's good enough, I just go for it. I edit it, I watch it two times. You know, if I need to add some writing or cut some parts out that I don't like but I don't watch content over and over again to really look for the small imperfections because you really risk to get too much in your head and in the end not to get to the point where you're gonna post it so I think that moderate overview of your content is also has to be in place I think that you always start to overthink your content and you'll start to be unsure if it's interesting for someone or not I think that if you already came up with this idea on the first place it's a content worse topic topic on the first place so we'll definitely be uh, viewers for it and if there is not lesson learned you will not film this content any longer of course there is leaf blower people just when I'm filming a video there should be some noises okay guys I hope it's better here because it was impossible to talk there it was like my thoughts were lost anyway so build your own brand I'm actually in process of building the brand myself my personal brand I think that a goal and the key of building your own brand is definitely finding a purpose and finding a message you want to bring to the table all right is it you want to inspire people to cook uh, or maybe you want to give a business tips or maybe you want to give mom tips or maybe 
you want to share the recipes i mean whatever it is there should be some sort of value in it so i think i'm still exploring what my value is <laughs> and i'm definitely i mean now i kind of have a general idea right i'm a mom i share my experience as a mom i love cooking i love fashion i like more approachable fashion and then that's what i think so attractive to me in content creation the most attractive thing to me in content creation is the fact that i can show fashion in more approachable side like you know when you look models on a runway dress beautifully and us the way we dress in real life i just feel like there is such a big gap between this two like it always feels so unachievable it always feels so far away so i actually love to create content and uh, fashion inspiration for people to like implement the styles in real life in daily life where you can like purchase and actually wear this outfit you know as someone who comes from a modeling industry where i've been that model that been advertised all this like achievable strange outfits or maybe like super duper expensive outfits there are not many people can afford or will imagine to wear so i think that where i were i lost my thoughts so yeah really understanding what your audience is and i do feel like a youtube my most audience is women moms young women that wants to be a mom in the future so i'm not exactly and you know completely understanding the exact model of my brain Brand and I not exactly can pinpoint the content that I already chose but I already kind of can see the attraction to certain topics and as I said it's all about trying out different content and see what works best for you hey guys i'm back to original place because i think that it looks really pretty and i want to like continue filming here the gardener people left and there is no more leaf blowers so we can talk in peace okay so what else i want to talk how do you handle negative criticism and also another question you mentioned that you can be a little sensitive how do you best i mean the way i wrote it like i don't understand what i wrote how do you embrace it okay yes yeah, so how do i deal with criticism i guess most of the criticism criticism nowadays comes from internet from social media i don't have much criticism in, in my like friendship or relationship too much but mostly from social media of course i think at first like on my in my early days of like modeling i was super super sensitive on all the comments i would be like taking it so personal it would really affect me for like days if somebody would call me like oh she gained weight or she fat or whatever like i mean it's just an example it would really affect me now i don't know i just don't even care anymore i don't even pay close attention to it anymore i guess i just let it be like sometimes i can like get into discussion and like start the conversation with someone but overall i really don't care anymore i sometimes don't even read those comments like if i see there's some negative already negativity starting i don't even finish it and like i used to delete those comments now i also leave them like just let it be <laughs> let it just people talk i mean in the end listen and social media is social media like if you go to social media you should be ready for being criticized for being praised for good things bad things i think it's pretty normal natural and something i signed up to so i think it's all about distancing yourself from this negativity and not reacting on it and just like work on really not letting this affect you so i am i am pretty sensitive but as i said like i am sensitive to i think to comments from people whose opinion matters to me especially like around my period when i'm very sensitive um, my husband better don't comment on anything because i can find negativity in whatever he says <laughs> but yeah overall i'm pretty sensitive i think that's just my i don't know if it's strong side or weak side <laughs> i mean i think you can call it strong and weak side A weak side i think because sometimes of course it affects you and affects some area of your life that you're like kind of your mood is affected but from positive i do feel like people that are sensitive can feel other people emotions well so we're more compassionate maybe maybe better at understanding other person's feeling in certain situation i always say that i probably could be a psychologist easily because i really like around my friends i feel like a lot of uh, my friends call me in the, like difficult situations and i'm always like kind of really can feel 
the feelings of a person at this specific moment, this specific situation. So I do feel like it's one of those quality that psychologists should have in order to understand the client. So I probably could be a psychologist if I would have to uh, choose a job. So yeah, so I think it's it's strong and weak side at the same time. But I embrace it. I embrace it. That's the way I am. And as I said, I, I learned how to work with it and I learned how to how for this not to let affect me so i I suggest you to do the same (laughs) i think i'm done here don't have anything else to say regarding this topic but i'll be happy to answer some extra questions if you have down below in the comments so you are welcome to write it down there it's honestly so dark feels like night but it's not just raining outside i'll show you now it's crazy so dark look Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this chit chat video. I hope it's been useful and you can get some value out of those tips that I shared. I hope to see you in the next video.